element. Who recalls what goes in this square or this corner of a frame model? Definition. What about this side? This is usually like characteristics. Down here, examples, and over here, perfect. So we're going to start with the definition. A polynomial is an expression, a mathematical expression. that can have constants, variables, and exponents. Who recalls what a constant is? It also can be known as a coefficient if it's connected to a variable. The number three would be considered a constant. X is a variable. To the fourth power is an exponent. This is an example of a polynomial. I just expanded that polynomial to have three terms. We'll be taking more notes on what are parts of polynomials. That's actually what your mini booklet is about. Look, title of it is. So my Freyer model is going to focus more on what a polynomial is not. Polynomials. cannot have negative exponents. <coughs> Bless you. I did bring in tissue. It's on my desk in the back. <clears throat> Part of negative exponents can be what we call division by a variable. So you won't see that in a polynomial. Polynomials also do not have fractional exponents. which can sometimes be notated as radicals. Radicals are basically things with a square root kind of notation. And polynomials cannot have infinite terms. You will know the number of terms in your polynomial. It's a definite number. So let's put down some non-examples to go with our list of things that they don't have. Two divided by x would be the first bullet. Instead of showing this with a negative exponent, we haven't done our exponent unit yet. I'm dividing this by a variable which can happen in math, in algebra, it just cannot happen as a polynomial, okay? 5x to the 1 half as an exponent, that's a fractional exponent, and we don't do fractional exponents as polynomials. x to the 
x plus y to the negative 2 power is a negative exponent. These are non-examples. Seven x to the fifth power, that's a polynomial. Five xy squared minus three x plus five y to the third minus three. These are all examples that are polynomials. x squared plus y squared is a polynomial. So, I don't feel like you guys have this solid in your head yet, but you've had an introduction. You have a list of things you can refer back to as you get more information. Tomorrow when you come in, you're going to get a half sheet from me that you will be identifying what you think is a polynomial and what you think is not based on what we're doing for the rest of the class period. The first thing we're going to do, ugh, I gave away my glue last time. We are going to glue this onto this page down here so that this page looks like this. Do you notice I have space underneath it? That's on purpose. I don't want this centered in the bottom page. I want it just underneath the line we drew so that hopefully you've got some room underneath it. Uh -huh. I need to fix these glues. I have not seen anything about a group leaving early today. Ah, I just went against my own rule. Yeah, I just globbed a whole bunch on there. I have a question. Am I still following the rule if I like do one dot and spread it? I'm like, you know, oh my god. <laughs> Don't do what I just did. Yeah. I feel like I need to like soak a bunch of these. If you've got a glue that's not working, don't put it back in the box. I want it by the sink. Okay. Now, I'm going to stop my recording, but first I want to tell you guys what you're doing for the rest of class. You have this, and you have this, and you have this. I have left you a just over five minute video in Google Classroom where I guide you through taking notes on this, doing the first example here, and then I give you ones to practice on. And the video has you go through this and underline parts of this and take a few notes on the page with it. The video is from two years ago. The page where this is glued in in the notebook looks a little bit different, but the notes should be the same. Okay, it's a little over five minutes, but it'll probably take you 10 minutes because it's something you'll probably want to pause and get the notes. Okay, so that is the goal for rest of class. At the beginning tomorrow, you'll be handed a half sheet trying to determine what is and is not a polynomial.